a lot of people think that it'd be cool to walk around with an iPad in New York City and connect to the internet really easily, which I guess you can right now if you have a 4G chip. Um, but if you're going to have a lot of people on it, 5G is the way to do it. And 4G is already set up and 5G is like, it kind of it's kind of like a natural progression. So the more I think about it, um, yes, we have to triple the towers, but um, we don't really need any more 4G towers. So it does make sense that we would just, if we're going to build more towers, build 5G towers. But at the same time, couldn't we all just kind of let everyone use our routers, like have Wi-Fi everywhere? Probably we could, and that that would make it so that we could handle the traffic because that's like almost a cell tower everywhere. Um, but, um, yeah, um, but obviously people like to have their own networks. So, um, which, is, is it really necessary if we have encryption? Not really, um, but, um, I don't know. All I'm saying is I, I think 5G makes sense. And what I also think makes sense is bringing a bunch of people together to build, like, what is it? What are these? Five pyramids, and we're going to have universities in them, and we're going to have a Walmart distribution center because Amazon's going to be out of business. And then um, we will have people from all over the world that come together to solve the climate crisis, or specifically um, the photovoltaic energy crisis. Well, that's not a crisis. We, we bring everyone together to find a solution to get together from different countries and we have these universities that are we have um, an American University we have American Liberal Arts College but it's not it's just English speaking in general and then you have like a bunch of other small colleges that connect to the big university and it's a research center and we have economists there that can all we, we can even have so so we can even have economics class there and in economics class they can talk about whether or not um, growth like, um, like every, like, um, private growth is, is the goal of, um, economics. Um, it's kind of hard to explain what I'm trying to say. Um, at this point, I think what people have realized is that the American stock market is based on money lent out. That's based on valuation. That's kind of silly, but it works out fine because, um, how long can it last? I'm not sure. I think that that is kind of a theoretical question, but I think the the answer comes when you have a single problem or a few small problem or a, a big problem and a small problem like an Amazon and a Facebook problem. Because um, like if, if Facebook loses that much trust, which I feel like they have at this point, um, then can that have a, a serious detrimental effect on the stock market? Because um, there are other people that own that and then they have to move their money around and then everyone starts moving their money and then suddenly it's like, uh-oh, we're in trouble. I'm not sure. Um, but I feel like no matter how many mistakes I make and, and no matter how wrong I am, if you want someone to build you this pyramid um, or, or, or to solve the energy crisis, um, you, you might want me. That's what I think. So... <laughs> I still, I'm still up for, what is it, Super Tuesday? Gonna go kick some ass Super Tuesday? We'll see.